There's just got to be a better way. Hi, I'm Charles, and welcome to DIY Fermentation, your site for doing fermentation on a shoestring budget. Today, we want to try and tackle the issue of how <coughs> to remove your wine labels from your old wine bottles so they can be reused. Now to get this job, we are going to need the following accessories. One, we're going to need a knife. Doesn't have to be razor sharp or anything, but something that's going to be a little bit sharper than your fingernail. Another thing we're going to need is that we're going to need steel wool. Now, if you don't have steel wool, then you can probably make do with a scouring pad that's got, uh, well, a newer scouring pad that's got a little, little bite to it. But otherwise, yeah, you're going to need a, a, some steel wool. It doesn't have to be a soap steel wool pad. It doesn't have to be SOS. It doesn't have to be Brillo. But it does have to be something you can to help uh, scrape off your uh, your labels. And since you're washing your bottles anyway, uh, a good uh, a good uh, bottle washer would probably come in handy as well. Now I'm sure many of you have already tried. You'll stand by of trying to get your fingernail under there and scrape off as much of the label as you possibly can. But let's just be honest. This is generally what you're going to end up getting <laughs> for the most part. Rarely does will the labels come off nice and cleanly. So my method is going to be, first of all, starting out with starting out with a uh, sink full of hot soapy water. So that we can go ahead and uh, start soaking our labels. Because let's just be honest. If you don't have a dishwasher, or even if you do, sometimes when you've got that burnt stuck on food, it sometimes is nice just to let them soak in the sink for a while until you're ready to, to get down to business. I mean, it doesn't have to be sudsy water or anything like that. We just want to get our labels warmed up a little bit and give the labels a chance to... Uh, Loosen up just a little bit. So you can go ahead and put your bottles in, in the sink. And one more. I think I'll do it. There we go. Have a tendency to bob around a little bit, so go ahead and if you can get some of the water in there. It's gonna to have to get in there anyway because we're gonna to have to clean the bottles out on the inside as well. And go ahead and turn the water off, and we are going to let those soak for a little while. I mean, I could just get down to business right now, but why use up a lot of excess elbow grease if you don't really have to? Let's let the hot, uh, soft, I mean the uh, hot water and soapy, hot soapy water do its thing and then we'll come right back. All right, I think that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and finish this up. Starting with the one that I was working on. Yeah. Bit easier. Hit it with steel wool a bit. All right, let's see what we got here. Almost. There we go. That's much better. Yeah, I mean, I didn't say it was going to be easy. But it does get done. So let me go ahead and wrap up at least the last three of these and I'll be right back. 
Now that the labels are off, let's just go ahead and give it one last good scrub all around because you never can tell. It's always that last little speck or spot of adhesive still on there. Not that it's unsightly or anything like that, but if you're going to do a good job of it, you may as well do a good job of it. There is one other thing that needs to be done that I've already done on the other three bottles, but I'm now working on this fourth one, is that you've got these little remaining plastic pieces of cap that need to be removed. So go ahead and when you're lucky, they just scrape right off like that. And while I'm at it, one last little scrub. And that is that. The only thing remaining for these bottles now is to be rinsed off. And they still need to be sanitized, but since I'm not going to be using them until tomorrow, I'm going to spare myself the sanitation portion of it. And I use Star Sands for sanitation. If you don't have it, a weak bleach, a bleach solution will do it. So I'm just going to give these things a final rinse. And paying for water to go down the drain and give it a final dry there we go wine bottles ready for reuse well almost ready for use like I said they still have to be sanitized but basically that's the process and that is all that I need to do apart from cleaning out the sink because there's a lot of label scrapings down there and I don't want those to go down the drain so I'm going to clean that out again I'm going to rinse out all of the bottles call it a day and this one has already been done so um, again generally speaking I use two types of bottles clear one has basically been my standard I've been using that for everything but now I'm branching out a little bit getting some of the darker bottles for some of the darker darker wines not that it really matters in my case, because everything is kept in a dark location, So, but it looks pretty, you know, to have a dark colored bottle. And there we go, folks. That is that. <laughs> there we go. So I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video or live stream, and uh, I'll see you then.